In this tutorial, we are going to be creating a simple registration form using only HTML. There's no styling as you can see. So we are having our text field for username, password, the email. You select the gender, either female or male. Here you select the country code you're in. Right now I'm using African countries. So the selected one, the first one is for Uganda 256, Kenya, Tanzania, and so forth. So also the submit button, that's what you're going to be achieving in this tutorial. Stay tuned and I will see you soon. So behind the scenes, I went and removed everything on the web page. So we are going to start from scratch. So this is my basic HTML structure. And I'm going to start by creating a center tag. So I want everything to be centered. We, everything we are going to be writing is, must be centered. Then I write h3, h3, and I will write register here. Register here and save. So you're seeing it like this because I went ahead and zoomed in. So I'm at 200%, percent supposed to be at 100%, percent, but mine is at 200%. Percent. So I will create a form tag. So this is where you can write the action where you want the user to be directed after submitting and also specify the method. It can either be a get or post. But right now we are just into HTML. So we shall write by writing a table tag. table tag and I'll write TR for table row. Let me first slide up like there. Table row. We shall say username. Oh sorry sorry. Write table data that's we are creating a row we write table data. So this is what is going to be visible. I'll write username. What's wrong with my keyboard? Oh, it's me the person typing so username I write another table data TD and inside here I write the input element so this is going to be text and the name will be user so save this preview it in our browser and this is what we are having so we are done with our first text field so this is what we did we did the table row table data inside also we did two table datas the username and the text field so they are aligned like that so so i write another table row tr close it Inside TR, I put another table data, TD. And this is going to be password. I write another TD. And this is going to be the input element. Input. So this one is going to be password. And the name I will give it. So mainly the names will be useful when you are using like php to access this text field i say user pass so it will have no effect on our code and right now as you can see these two have different length but the reason why you use tables is to align these text field in the same line so as you can see even if they are not of the same length we shall still align our text field in the same way then next we shall go to the password field no we shall go to the email write tr so we are creating a row for the email let me scroll up for you guys to see properly follow step by step i'll write another td and this is going to be email 
for colon I write another TD the table data and this is going to be for the input element or input fields so this one is going to be email HTML5 as order it made that possible so you can create email save that preview it in the browser and this is what we are having as I told you they are not of the same length but still our text field will be aligned in the same line that's why we use tables so we are done with that so let us now go to gender I write another table row tr I write table data td and I'll call this one gender gender well semi full colon then write another td for the input elements so input the type will be radio so this will be the radio button and the name will be gender and the right mail go down write another input still radio the name will again be gender cause they are the same category so we shall say female in case they are these guys also the special people type radio still it will be gender so some countries consider these guys to be special people others save this and this is what we are having so you also have to provide some space for those special guys no all of us should know the same so you can use this to also make your website more favorable to also some people lastly we shall create the country like the phone number fields we shall go and create another table row tr create table data and we shall say phone we shall create another table data here so we shall write the select tag select tag and inside the select tag we shall write the options tag options then this is where we are going to put all the country codes you are going to be seeing so we shall write plus 256 so for Uganda let me start with 254 copy down on the next line So this one is going to be to five, five, six, seven, and eight. So first save this and preview it in the browser. So this is what we are having. Next, we are going to put some input field where the user has writing the telephone number. So down below, select. We shall say. We shall write input input we shall say let me say phone and we shall say mob mob digits so mobile digits so that's the, the name I've given it previewed and this is what we are having so you can select the country code you want and also write the number there so right now if you want one country code to be visible at first like I want 256 to be the first instead of 254 so I will just write some attribute on 256 code selected 
so you just write selected there and 256 will be the one considered first as you can see refresh 256 next i'm going to write another table row tr for the for the submit button I write td td slow down and say input type it's going to be submit submit the name will again be submit so you can change the value let's leave it you can change the value to like send save this view it in the browser and it will be like this but let us leave it at submit and this is what we are having so so far so far so good now lastly let me first show you this place order stuff so in case we want user to get some extra information he or she so that he knows what to fill in there we shall write we shall go on placing some place order place order and we say enter email here then we go to password say placeholder whoa placeholder we say enter password enter password here and we shall say here placeholder enter name here so you can see these are the placeholders for the phone you can also place some placeholder also and say seven five just as an example review it and this is what we are having as you can see a user can come and write many digits but we want to limit them at nine because the first digit will be re replaced by the country code so i'll go to the phone and add another attribute called maximum length max length and you say nine because the first zero will be replaced by the country code so i write one two three four five six seven eight nine so as you can see i'm still pressing but i limited them to nine so the first digit will be taken over by the country code which will be zero so this one is kenya tanzania uganda so on, and so on so that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial go ahead subscribe to my channel if it has been useful to you and i'll see you in the next tutorials so this is the form we have created <laughs> you can go on and play with the form design it if you want and use it in your projects there in your considered areas so as usual hit that like button subscribe to the channel bye bye